Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Thursday, August 11th. The quiet continues. Markets did break down yesterday, down about a quarter percent across the board, but off their lows. No new highs were made yesterday. That was the news. S&P was down 5, Dow Futures down 15, and the Nasdaq down 10 after records here this week. The dollar turned lower, down 50 points at 95.60. The new relative low there, 95.40. Let's see if 95 gets taken out. That could be positive for the equity markets with that weaker dollar helping out some of these commodities and energy stocks. The euro currency up 66, a nice boost there, right below 112. Crude oil was the news of the day, down 2.5% at 41.70 after stalling at that 43 level that we talked about that is the halfway point of the extreme low at 33 and the extreme high at 53. So keep an eye on 43 level, closed yesterday at 41.70, down 105, a 2.5% loss, and the low yesterday was 41.40. Lastly, with the dollar decline, gold did rally $5 at $13.52. So after the mix action yesterday, on a quiet session, where do things stand here on this Thursday morning? We're positive, getting back yesterday's losses, up about a quarter percent across the board, up five points in the S&P, up 50 in the Dow Futures, and up 14 in the Nasdaq. BABA is getting headlines. It's pushed above $90, which is the halfway point of the all-time highs uh, at $120, down to those lows at, uh, at $60 here. So also you've got Macy's uh, looking to close about 100 stores. That's giving that stock a bit of a boost, up about 5%. As far as the currencies go, steady and quiet. 95.70 in the dollar, 111.75 in that euro currency. Keep an eye on 112 up above. Crude oil's up 15 cents, 41.85, 43 up above to keep an eye on, and $40 psychologically down below. And lastly, gold, 13.54, up $2, building on yesterday's gains. So to wrap up this current action with half an hour to go before the cash stock market open, stocks are solid, up five in the S&P, up 15 in the Dow Futures, and up 14 in the NASDAQ 100. Alan Uckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.